Hi everyone and welcome to the Kids Home Pace software. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to working with you and your children to help them create really empowering money skills from as young as possible. The system's designed to be as simple as possible but does require that parents work with their children in the short term to actually set up the system exactly how it suits your family. We've developed the system as a values-based system so each family can customise it to suit themselves. The system's designed to be very simple to use, however we make no apology for using the correct financial terms in the system. We believe completely that any child who can say the word dinosaur or grandma can actually learn to say net profit and work out what that means in the real world. We've repeated the tutorial links on the right hand side of the screen to make it easy for you while you're using the software if you need to go back and actually revisit any of them. We highly recommend that you have watched the Teaching Kids About Money tutorials or read the book before using the software so that you can take full advantage of all of the principles in the book as they apply in the software and really max out the benefit of using the software for your children. Whoever applied for the Kids Home Pay login would have been sent a username and password via email. If you ever forget your password, simply click on the Forgot Your Password link here. You'll be taken to this screen and you can have it sent back to you by putting the details in and then clicking on the Send Request. For the purpose of this demonstration, we've created the Maxwell family. Dean is the dad, so I'm logging in as him now to show you how quick it is to get in and then how simple the system is. In this demo I'm just going to take you quickly through the different sections of the screen and they're explained in a lot more detail in the Parents and Mentors training. First of all you can see that we're logged in as the Maxwell family and that this is actually Dean who's logged in and the logout button is here as well. We'll go through each of the tabs. The first tab, the family members one, is the most important one at this stage because it's where you go in and set up your family. So you'll notice in this screen you can see the family name, the address, all of the details. If any of those need editing, you click on the Edit Details button and it's quick and easy for you to update your details. To add another family member, you simply click on the Add Family Member button and in here you set up the child's name, position, date of birth, an email address for them. If they're too young to have an email address yet, simply put your own email address. Uh, the gender, the mobile phone, again just put not applicable if they're too young for that. There you, and then here is the most important part, you create their username and password. I'll just cancel that one and I'll show you one of the ones we've set up. So this is Rebecca and you can see in here all of her details and her um, username is actually R Maxwell and her password 1234 the second tag along is the income and expenses tag in here you and your family sit down together and decide what are the ways the children are going to get money in and what are the ways that they want to actually spend money that you agree to and come up with those and use exactly the words you want. All of the systems designed so that each of the items in any of these screens you have full control over going in and editing and changing them how you want. For example in this one um, you might have changed that to the child's name and then saving that. If there's something in here you don't want to use at all you simply click the little garbage bin and it gets deleted. Once you've set up the income and expense items, you go along to the next tab and this is where you actually allocate those items to each child so that you can actually create a specific list for each of the children in your family. The next tab is about the home tasks set up. Again, you sit down as a family and negotiate all of the different tasks around the house that the children might be able to earn some home pay by doing for you and decide what rate of pay they're going to be. Once that's complete, you click in here and allocate each of those jobs to the children um, who are able to do those tasks. Obviously, it will depend how old the children are as to which tasks apply to which child. 
The final tab in this screen is the Kids Home Pay Management tab. In this one, it's where you as a parent or mentor can have a look at what, you, what each of the children in your family are actually doing in Home Pay, but we highly recommend that you don't actually go in and edit anything here. It's much more empowering for children to be logged in as themselves when you're working with them one on one so that they have a real sense that they're looking after their own things. When you've set all of this up, then you simply log out and the children are ready to log in using their own login. I'll just quickly show you what happens when that does come up. This is Rebecca's again that I mentioned earlier. Log in as Rebecca. And you'll notice in this instance that this, there is a different set of menus along the top of the screen for the children compared to the parents. So this is why it's important that you work with your child in their own login screen. Don't work with them through your login screen so that you're actually teaching them exactly how they'll use it for themselves. The sooner they come independent, the less work it is for the parent to manage this. You can see they also have access to all of the tutorials, so if there's any part they want to revisit, they can. And at this level, they're actually able to customise things further to, them, to their own uh, desire. So with their income and expenses item, you'll notice it says my income and expenses for Rebecca. She's able to go in and do more customising and the same with her home tasks, so which are the actual jobs she'll do. There's no data displayed at the moment because we haven't actually chosen a particular week to display that data. There'll be more details shown in the tutorial for the children as well. So it's a great idea for the parents to watch the children's tutorials as well as these ones so that you get the full understanding and can help your children as easily as possible. Again, log out button when you're finished. Go ahead now and watch the rest of the tutorials and we look forward to hearing any feedback from you um, or suggestions for improvements that you have so that we can continue to develop this system to make it as useful as possible for families and as simple and easy and fun to use.